What's up guys? This is Soundwave Jordan here and we are back once again with another video regarding Transformers the last night and like we did last video regarding our Decepticon spoiler talk, we are here today with our Autobot spoiler talk with our guest once again, Lord Satanus. Satanus, take it off. Hey, what's going on everybody? Satanus the Dark Lord, working on Twitch and my YouTube Satanus. All right, so you know that's Satanus right here. We're going to be talking about different topics in terms of the Autobots and what they're going to be doing, possibly for the next Transformers film, and you know, possibly the things they might be doing after the events of Transformers: The Last Night. As you guys can clearly see, the title of this video, and this is going to be our first topic, we are going to be talking about what's next for the Autobots. So, I'm going to let Satanus, you know, start this one off first. Satanus, what do you think is next for the Autobots, especially after the events of Transformers: The Last Night? What's next for the Autobots after the last night? I'd have to say, considering at the very end we have quite a large cast of characters for the Autobot team, um, and and honestly, there's the Autobots are like back together. They have Optimus Prime, so they don't need to sit around anymore. They they know what the problem is, Quintessa. They know what the, what they need to figure out, how to defeat Unicron and save Earth. So I think in this next one, the Autobots, it's pretty much a clear path on, on what they need to do. The only thing is how are they going to be able to accomplish it. And something something they also have to work on, they're actually going to rebuild Cybertron. As they mentioned at the ending of you know Transformers last night, they actually plan on rebuilding Cybertron and actually go back home and leave Earth forever after they handled their Unicron slash Quintessa business. So... You know, pretty much, as you mentioned, their paths are pretty straight and linear. All they have to do is really protect Earth, you know, defeat all evils that may interfere with the humans or them in general, and just repair their home so they can actually go back and live their lives. So, pretty much that's what we think what's going to be next for the Autobots. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's nothing too crazy, nothing as complex as the Decepticons, mm -hmm. because, you know, Decepticons, they're always losing, and they need some elaborate plan to, like, <laughs> work and all of that. So... Pretty much, that's it for the first topic. So, Dan, you got anything else to add to it? Uh, no, I think that pretty much sums it up. All right, so the next topic we're going to be talking about is the Autobot team as a whole. So, so Dan, as you pretty much mentioned this already, the Autobots, they have a huge team. They got a man. lot. A they huge a lot. team. They have Dragonstorm. Yeah, they, Dragonstorm, all the Dinobots. Still the Dinobots, Dinobots, exactly, have. man. How yeah. many Dinobots are there? There's a total of four. You have Slug, um, Strafe, Di um, I said Dino, Grimlock. And um, they scoring. Are, scoring. There we go. Yeah, scoring. Then you have Dragonstorm, which is technically twelve different Cybertronian knights. Then you have Optimus Prime and his little ragtag team. So the Autobots, they have a. And now, and now, him sending out that message, so we're gonna get more. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, they're always gonna add more Autobots to the movies and all of that because you know it's 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 how they make realistically. That's how they make their money. People like the Autobots more than Decepticons, unfortunately, but. They're definitely going to add more. So, you know, I'm actually really curious on how many Autobots are there there are going to be, especially for Transformers the last night. Well, Transformers 6, I mean, because since they're going to be battling Unicron more than likely, you got to really think about how big of a team do you need to defeat a planet-sized evil, a planet-sized Transformer. And that's that's something I'm really interested in. What do you think about that, Seth Adams? Um. Well, I mean, I, I don't think... I hope we'll see some sort of of interaction with Earth and some sort of massive global transformation. Not saying the whole Earth transforming, yeah. but a small section, a continent size, where we'll see the land transform and people are going to ship bricks and like see that and be like, that's crazy. I hope to see something like that. But realistically, I'm skeptical whether or not we'll see that in the sixth film. Um, so honestly, I think more so we might see soldiers and and once again, Unigron, Unicron being a, a force of nature, yeah. less so like a massive individual. Yeah, something similar to Transformers Prime. I I just have a huge feeling it's gonna be following the the pathing of Transformers Prime because you, you guys already know Transformers Prime, Unicron was Earth, and obviously Earth did a transform into Unicron or Unicron untransform, whatever. It was pretty much Optimus Prime battling. Like Sedana said, a force of nature, and he just had to deal with so many Unicron clones that were just so powerful and just overwhelming for Optimus Prime. So, if we were to see that on a live action scale, I believe that's going to be so freaking awesome, and I that is something I will be looking forward to. So, yeah, pretty much that's all I really have to say for the strain, not strain relationships, but the Autobot team. The next topic, though, which I just mentioned, is the strain relationships. So, as you guys already know, 
Optimus Prime mm. became Nemesis Prime in Transformers the last night. And of course, that led to a lot of things, pretty much Earth almost being destroyed. So, my question for you guys, and for you, Sathanas, as well, do you think there's going to be some tension among the Autobots, especially now that Optimus Prime is back and he's back to his normal self? I think I think with the, the whole story they're going with, um, which basically is, you know, us as a home, as our own planet, having an alien race come here and and occupy it. I think obviously there's going to be hostility for that. However, um, I think in in basically the second movie and the third one, the Autobots were working with Ness, but tensions were rising. Yeah. The the fourth one and fifth one, Autobots were the enemies. So I think on this big final one, I don't think there's going to be too much tension. I think there's going to be that global tension of this is our world, get off. But I honestly don't think we'll see that much. I think I think that that story of Autobots and humans having some disagreeing, yeah. I think that's coming to a close. Do you think there might be some tension between like the actual Autobot cast? Like for example, uh, example would be Optimus Prime and the twelve Trip, Cybertronian Crosshairs. Knights. Or yeah, Crosshairs. Oh, that's Trip. another one. Yeah. yeah. Do you think there's gonna be tension I, I, between them? I think them? we'll see. I think we'll see a little bit more of that, but I think halfway through, Optimus will, will, will unite them all under one global cause. I think I think the topic of saving Earth or saving Cybertron is going to unite gonna, everybody. It's yeah. going to really, not necessarily, I think it'll divide everybody, but Optimus, when having the final say, he himself will unite. Oh, okay, okay. Unite I know what you mean, how Optimus will give out, gives out his little crazy speeches and all the, everyone's like mm-hmm. yeah 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 you know i know exactly what you mean it's pretty much like a rally in a way <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> we know your name's optimus Prime. yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's okay. pretty much like a rally so something else that happened in transformers the last night and I don't, I don't know if you remember seth but um remember how hound bumblebee hot rod crosshairs drift blah 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 they met up with the 12 cybertronian knights for the first time and Hound was pretty much like, mm-hmm. do you think we could take them on you know the, it was an interesting relationship because you have these prehistoric Cybertronians and you just have these modern day Cybertronians and they're together they have to work together in order to save Cybertron and save Earth but at the same time they're vastly different from one another because I'm pretty sure the way they mm-hmm. see things they from their perspective they have different experiences different just like views, humans. exactly different experiences yeah. do different codes of honor that they live by exactly so I'm really hoping they tackle that in Transformers 6 because I, I have a feeling that's going to be something really interesting if they just were to you know take their time and work on that and, you know, I just feel like everybody would love it, especially within the Transformers community, because we love the robots interacting with one another so much to the point where they actually feel lifelike, where they actually feel like humans. So that's something I will be looking forward to. So, yeah, that's pretty much the topic of strained relationships. The next topic we are going to be talking about is Optimus Prime. So Optimus Prime um, is pretty self-explanatory. He's back. O.P. Simpson. Exactly. He is back. He's not Nemesis Prime no more. He has an objective. He has a huge team to lead, as well as he probably has to monitor the humans because the humans tend to be a bit drastic when it comes to Cybertronian or alien threats and all of that. So, Sathanas, what do you think of Optimus Prime since he's your favorite character's rival? What do you think is going to be happening with him in Transformers 6? Uh, Transformers 6 with Optimus Prime, I think... um you know, he might just make one one global one one sacrifice that will instead of uniting just Autobots together, um, I think he might I think he might die one more time, but not come back. Yeah, yeah, I think I, at the I, very I end of the actually. film they might be a new prime kind of a deal, but but they're not gonna delve into it. It'll be just like the very end credits where they're kinda wrapping it up and they might pick a new prime, which knowing knowing how many people love Bumblebee? Yeah, dirty bastard. It's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> I think it's a possibility we might see a Bumble Prime. Unlikely, and I hope not, but it is a possibility. I mean, I uh, can't. But they do have Hot Rod in it. Yeah, which is Rodimus. But I think I think ultimately Prime will make a sacrifice um, in this very last one that that will save both worlds, and and, and through his sacrifice will unite humanity and Cybertronians. So yeah, pretty much, I definitely agree with what Satanus just said right there. Optimus Prime uniting everybody together. It just seems like the noble way for him to actually leave the franchise and just him sacrificing himself for the greater good of the universe itself. So I definitely got to agree with you there, Satanus. It seems like that would be the more 
probable thing to happen, especially for a character such as Optimus Prime. And now that you mention it with the whole Bumblebee thingy, I've been actually seeing some comments when I've been looking at the Transformers trailers again and the Transformers scenes online. Um, I've been seeing people saying that they want Bumblebee to be a Prime. And as much as, as much as you hate Bumblebee, man, I have a feeling, like you mentioned it yourself, I have a huge feeling that that's going to happen. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't be mad, and I kind of wouldn't be surprised I have either. a big feeling, but I, I don't want to see it. Yeah, yeah, because I, I mean, in the G1 series, during the G1 movie, Hot Rod, he became a Prime out of, a, out of nowhere. We didn't expect him to become a Prime, but he did become a Prime. He represents the attributes of a Prime leader, and of course, it led him to being Rod of his Prime. And of course, Bumblebee has been through a lot, especially within the live-action series. He's been on Earth since World War II, and I wouldn't even be surprised if he was on Earth before World War II. So, seeing Bumblebee become a Prime in um, Transformers 6, or near the ending of Transformers 6, I wouldn't be surprised, and I just feel like it's the step in the right direction. Unfortunately, I hate Bumblebee, but you know, I just feel like it's the step in the right direction, at least for the how the series is panning out. So, what do you think about that? <laughs> You're asking me, what do I think about it? I think we already know. You I despise Bumblebee. I think he's, I think he's disgusting. Oh. Um, he's too much of a fan favorite. Him and G1, he didn't even do that much. He's just, he's just a good scout. That's what it comes down to. I think he's just overhyped. But honestly, I think that will happen since he's such a fan favorite. Um, I, I, I would, I think it's fair to say I would bet on it. Yeah, um, definitely. However, I mean, like DTM Transformers. I do love me some titanium <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but no, nah, no. Nah, I, I, I don't think that's I, gonna happen with Ironhide. I, I don't God. like it. I, it's definitely not <laughs> being rusted. Rusted. Hashtag rusted. Freaking evil. Nah, nah, I, I, I hope not, but I can definitely see it. Yeah, yeah. Same here. So, I, I believe, and Sadanus agrees. Um, that's probably gonna be happening with Bumblebee and Transformer Six. We're gonna go on to the next topic, which is going to be the final topic of this video. Autobots versus Quintessa slash Unicron. So, the Autobots, we kind of already, you know, covered it a bit in the beginning of the video, but the Autobots have a huge mission, a huge role, and they have one more mission as well. They're trying to repair Cybertron. However, they have to kill or defeat Quintessa, and they also have to make sure Unicron isn't awakened, because if he does awaken, he's going to literally wipe out humans. That's it. It's pretty much their human extinction right there and there. So, so, Danis, what do you think about that? It's pretty, we already touched on it a bit, so I guess it won't be too long and all of that. Uh, I think, uh, you know, yeah, it, it's going to definitely be interesting to see how it pans out, how it plays out. But I can see Quintessa failing or Quintessa being a false god um, and Cybertron being saved. And then Unicron, even though he will be a massive, both both figuratively and literally, um, <laughs> a massive threat um but i mean the, the autobots will triumph as all movies do, oh, yeah which i hate 95 percent of all movies do the good guys win yeah i mean it's true if you think about it that way you are indeed right so i can't argue with you there it's unfortunate but it's just how it is the protagonists always have to triumph at least most of the time so you know, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of disappointing, but I'm just in it for the ride. I just want to see how it plays out and all of that. I mean, as the Cybertronian Knights, the twelve Cybertronian Knights who used to serve Quintessa, they believe that she's the she's a great deceiver, the great deceiver and all of that. So I'm really hoping, and I mentioned this in the Decepticon spoiler talk, I'm really hoping they touch on Quintessa a bit because I feel like there's a lot more to her than meets the eye. I said that already, and that's you know I'm bring it back up again, but. I just feel like there's so much more to her that we don't know about. I kind of had a feeling, and you know, tell me if I'm wrong or you think I'm or you think this is a bit of a reach, but I kind of want to say she's a a secret servant of Unicron or something. I don't know. Like, this was just something that popped up in my head, and I just kind of wanted to bring it up. But I kind of think that she's working for Unicron. Maybe I don't know. What What do you think? It's it's. It's an idea that's not necessarily out there, but um, it's it's a possibility. I, d I don't think that's a thing, but it's definitely a possibility. Yeah, so, you know, her 
being if she were to be that that would be very interesting it would be like another plot twist and it's been a long time since we actually seen a proper plot twist in transformers besides dark of the moon so if that were to happen you know i i i'll, I'll be down for it honestly i wouldn't mind it happening i just hope they execute it properly if that even happens what well, that that pretty much covers uh yeah holy i messed up but that pretty much covers up the Autobots versus Quintessa slash Unicron topic right there. And that's all of the topics we have for today's video regarding what's next for the Autobots. So thank you guys for watching nonetheless though guys. Um, like I mentioned to you guys, we covered all the topics. If you guys like to, you guys can also check out our Decepticon spoiler talk. I will leave all links inside the description as well as I'll leave my Twitter inside the description. And I will leave Satanus' Twitch inside the description as well. Satanus, mm -hmm. Satanus give off your farewell mortals. I hope you have a good time. Sandra Jordan does some good content, especially if you're a huge Transformers fan. Make sure you keep up to date in all the games he follows as well. They are games I am very interested in and I will be streaming. And now that Sound of Jordan is working on his YouTube channel as well, he'll be streaming as well. So so make sure you tune into both of our Twitch channels. Watch both of us play together. It's on it's always a good time. Indeed, all hail indeed, the Dark indeed, Lord. Indeed. And 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 have a good one. All right, so thank you guys for watching once more. This is Sam Jordan here. Peace, late. See you guys in the next Transformers video. I'm out and have a lovely, awesome, splendid day.